Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to change the names of your specific shape boxes in PowerPoint. So I've got some um, text boxes in here and so I've got yellow things, blue things, red things, and black things. So maybe I have something specific on a slide that I want to always be referenced the same instead of like shape number five. If you add an extra shape then that could get pushed out and that could be shape number six and then your code won't work. You know what I mean? So you want to name this specifically and you want to reference it in your VBA code. All you gotta do is in the home tab go over to select and then go to selection pane, right? And that'll pull this out. And as you click on these, I clicked on text box 44 that's the one that I have the text for black in. Then eight is yellow, and seven is this. But you're going to want to change these, right? So <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead in here, right? So this one's now named as black, right? Just double click, change that. Very easy. I'm getting to the VBA section, so just hang on there. So you guys don't think that I'm not going to show any code I am. Um, all right, so there we go. Uh, okay, so for our code, like here's here's what you're gonna want to do, right? So uh, this is my sub, right? Application dot presentations one, the presentation you're on. Slides. I have a name for my slide. I've got another video where I'm going to show you how to name slides. And uh, shape range uh, array. You know, if you want to have more than one. Um, but then here we go. We're just gonna use the name for our first one. Um, just black, right? And yeah, text frame dot text range dot text equals whatever you want to put in there. So um, things. All right, press play. All right, so as you can see, right here, that changed. And it's the same deal. All I got to do is change this to red, right? And then let's see, I have play. Yep, that one changed to be filled with things too, and so on and so forth, right? So that's how you change the name of what you want to reference so that you can reference it the same in every slide, every time, the same way. So thanks for watching. Give me a like if this video helped you. Comment with any questions and subscribe if you want to just keep up with things I'm doing. I post a lot of random stuff on this channel. It's very different, but if you like that, I'd appreciate that. Have a good one.